morning. It is September 23rd. Um, I forgot to mention yesterday on the 22nd that I saw the weights. Um, it was just movement. It was just color and movement. The typical purple and and the shadow waves really just movement nothing out of the ordinary tried meditating today and I, I didn't I just saw a color I saw some movement when I was when I was waking up I mentioned that sometimes when I'm sleeping or in bed I'll see the waves um, and this morning I woke up early. I've been up since four. I went to bed like at midnight. <laughs> I had a, had a whole box of mac and cheese. <laughs> this is what happens when I try to stay up late. Oh, there's a spider. Okay. Um. Just, just watching her to see where she goes. <laughs> scared <laughs> um I saw an article today that said that the winter months um might oh snap girl you really made yourself a home there um I encourage them to move inside <laughs> oh she's really moving Oh, she's sitting, she's like right over my bed. Holy mother, you really. Holy moly. Um, I, I'm gonna have to take her out. <laughs> Come <on>. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I just, I took her out. I caught her and just took her outside. <laughs> it's too close to my bed. Um, but yeah, I just, I binged, ate a little bit last night. And I shouldn't have done that, but it, that's what happens when I don't meal prep. <laughs> I, it, it helps for me to meal prep so that um, it eliminates that time, the prep time. If I'm busy, and yesterday I think was the most busiest that I was or have been with my clients and so the time in between wasn't I, I didn't have a lot of wiggle room um so and then I'm kind of going through all my food so the goal is to go to Costco today to replenish some food so that I can meal prep for the week and I had meal prepped. I just ran out of what I ate and I didn't make the time to to prep. But anyways, it was yummy. I mean, I don't remember the last time I had mac and cheese. But it wasn't like mac and cheese. It was um, like a dairy-free one. So I think that's what made it more addicting was that I hadn't had it in a long time. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> it was good. But, right? Todo con consecuencias. I mean, I didn't... Because it's dairy-free, I didn't feel the same effects but just that when I eat and then fall asleep really quick without giving myself the time to digest just makes me feel yucky so um but anyways and then there was a part of me that was like I'm gonna do a lot of walking today because I have to walk all the way to Costco um <laughs> and that's a long walk um and then you know I'm walking so I have to be mindful of like okay how much am I gonna carry back um so I knew I was gonna like get a workout in this 40. Oh, but I was gonna say something else. Same, same. I tried meditating. Tingling sensation is still there, only now it's it's song related. It's definitely song related. So it's not all the songs, but certain songs will trigger the the tinglingness like last fall. So I just think it's funny that it's um <laughs> it's just funny. This whole Mercury retrograde again, right? All over again. Um, and 
and um, is it Mercury retrograde? Something retrograde, I don't know. Um, or Saturn retrograde. Something's going in retrograde. All I know is that I'm, I'm getting the sensation back <laughs> for songs. And it's funny because in, in the videos that are posting, it's the week that I went to, to Lila Sound Bath, and that's what triggered the, the, the tingling sensation back. Um, in, in July, so two months ago, and, um, yeah, so, oh, so I know I mentioned about the waves, I found my waves, like, I literally found them, and it was with me the whole time, <laughs> it was with me the whole time. Um, oh, now it's not moving. I wonder if it was moving to the music. Let's see. Yeah, started moving with the music. That's so cool. It's really so it's on my phone. I was, um, this is, this is exactly like, uh, let's see, the waves. Only imagine them more purple. And I know it looks a little shaky because of the, probably the screen or whatever. But this is what it looks like. And my phone is upside down. So the image is really like this on my phone. But I mentioned that the, this is supposed to be purple. For me, it looks a little more purple. When I put it on the screen, it looks blue. But it looks purple. And so I flipped it over. And then I saw the movement. So the, the way the... I look at the screen and it looks like it's um, um, shaking a little, but that's the that's that's oh, that's how I see the waves like that. It's exactly like that. Um, not the like the the word, but the shaking because I think that's just the the view of it, but the movement of it. Maybe I put it further back. No, that's not gonna help. <laughs> um, but the movement of the waves, that's what it looks like. Exactly like that. Um, it just takes on different forms. And it's more like panoramic, kind of like the whole. So it's a little wider. It's not just like this is the wider. But it's exactly like that. And and the movement of, of that shadow will create or will separate. Um, or it'll, it'll kind of be like this if it's like wavy. Um, or, or it'll, it'll like lift up, but then it'll keep the color through in the center. So, so I thought that was really cool. <laughs> and I, I had it with me the whole time and I didn't even realize it. But it trips me out, like, even this one, like how it moves, it's just, it's like it's, <sighs> like it's mimicking, like it's exactly like that. Um. It's crazy. <laughs> it's cool, crazy, crazy cool that I am. Um, came across it. And it's soothing. It's soothing to be able to see it outside of me like this. It's soothing. And sometimes I just like to watch it. So if you have that on your phone, I have a Google phone. Um, that's exactly what it looks like. So I thought, I thought, I was excited about that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm just, um, work's picking up for sure, which I'm grateful for. Um, I have the presentation tomorrow with my cousin, which I'm grateful for. I gotta practice that a little bit more because it's gonna be in Spanish. Mm, and I have, like, the outline in English, but just the practice in Spanish. Got to go wash today, which is probably the first thing I'm going to do because Costco won't open for another couple hours. Um, Because, yeah, my pile's growing for sure. I haven't washed since before. I got sick. Mm, oh, did you see that? The little feather. Um, but I, I guess I just wanted to speak to the waves today. And it was just picking up, getting busy, the importance of meal prepping, <laughs> the 
that I need to um, just go get more food so I can meal prep appropriately. And the thing is, like, yeah, I just, I just, I have to stick to the foods that I, I don't really eat. And um, especially now that things are picking up, so. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me. So.